Did it take me very long to adjust to OMAD? Or did it take me very long just to adjust to the fasting lifestyle? Well, stay tuned. Thanks for joining my channel on Reg Edit It. I'm Reggie. Today is about discussing how long did it take me to adjust to the fasting lifestyle as well as doing OMAD, one meal a day. It's been over a year and some change, a few months that I had started doing OMAD and really it turned into more of an extended intermittent fasting, which what I mean is that I have a stricter schedule for 22 to 23 hours of fasting on a daily is my everyday regimen and I give myself one to two hours to have an eating window. What did that look like and how did I get to that point? I would say that I started eliminating one meal at a time. So I really wasn't a breakfast person and really the only day that I like to have breakfast is really brunch on Sunday. So I enjoy it on over the weekend. Otherwise on the weekdays, I didn't eat breakfast anyway. So it wasn't anything that um, was a big sacrifice to me to have to give it up. In the morning, all I do is my apple cider vinegar cocktail drink, which I show you about that. And also uh, maybe some tea, green tea or uh, black oolong tea, something of that sort, unsweetened of course, so I didn't break my fast. But lately, since you know over a year now, I've been drinking lemon squeezed into water, maybe a splash of apple cider vinegar, but sometimes I just like it without that vinegar and maybe um, a half a teaspoon of salt and Himalayan salt and that does the trick for me it's very refreshing in cold water especially coming in from working out or being out in the heat like I've been lately uh, walking for about an hour and a half I already was eating a two meal a day plan on my days that I didn't even know I was I had a plan. <laughs> so it's just when I was eating mindlessly, I ate two meals and I probably snacked twice. So really you're eating like four times a day and that wasn't good for me because all it did is uh, increase my weight, slow down my metabolism, and uh, I just didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. When I decided to do the OMAD uh, and I made that decision, basically overnight after watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I watched the snake diet. I watched other people that uh, just did OMAD on a regular basis. And so I decided I'm doing this and I just kind of made up my mind overnight. And I am what they call an extremist. I jump in, you know, both feet in and uh, I don't look back. So I was doing the one meal right away. During those days, of um, getting used to it in the first couple of weeks. I was, I had stomach pings, yes, but I was doing the salts in my water with uh, basically where I learned from the snake diet, you know, getting those electrolytes, putting in salt and potassium powder, and I added that into my waters about a liter at a time. And um, there it just helped with curbing the appetite. Now the apple cider vinegar cocktail also curved the appetite. So that's definitely a must if you are just getting started to get to that one meal. And throughout the day, uh, it was great. Also, as a couple weeks later, I started dry fasting. And dry fasting, as you know, there are past videos that I've done that you'll see in um, the video playlist. If you take a look at the fasting lifestyle uh, section in my video playlist, you will find where I discuss dry fasting. And with the dry fasting, of course, you're not doing any liquids. So I didn't do that all day until I had my meal in the evening, at least about five to six o'clock in the evening. And then I would rehydrate uh, while that window is open of eating. So basically I would end up doing about a liter of water. Uh, I usually would try to do two liters, but that's a little tough in that short window when I was dry fasting. So now I'm drinking throughout the day, so it's no big deal. I'm getting my intake on the water as well. I felt like 
you know, this will work for me. It wasn't that difficult when I pulled away that second meal, which was lunch. And sometimes you have to swap out and do a lunch, which was fine when I have to take out a client, I definitely would do um, the lunch with them and then I just would not have dinner. But I find that's very difficult for me because my body is really used to, uh, adapted to dinner time. So I might end up doing a small snack and so that would throw me off of my OMAD uh, plan on a regular basis if I was doing a lunch. But lately, this past couple of weeks, I was starting, like I had a lunch and I decided just to do a 36 hour fast from there. So from lunchtime, I wouldn't eat anything throughout the rest of the day, just drink a lot of liquids and the next day, and I would w go all the way to dinner time, which would be the 36 hours. So I was back on my regular intermittent fasting schedule. But the 36 hours is great because it would help shock the body, the system, and help me to um, basically cut more fat and where you can get fat loss and burning going even better because once your body adapts to your regular schedule, then nothing's really happening. I'm not losing any more weight and usually it's maintenance. Sometimes I would gain weight because if I had some extra carbs for the one meal, then immediately I jump up a pound and pound and a half the next day. So if I know that I need to get back on track and lose a couple more pounds from whatever damage I did before, the night before or what have you, <laughs> I would um, do a 36 hour and eat the lunch early in the day and then you know, go through the 36 hours, which you know, puts everything back in perspective. So the answer to the question is, I really felt like I was adapted to the OMAD schedule probably within a month. It took me about a month where I didn't feel like I had the stomach pings all the time or where I'm always feeling like, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I need to eat earlier. Um, skipping lunch really doesn't bother me anymore and uh, I don't feel hungry till about four o'clock and then I start thinking about food and then I know I need to prepare the food and by the time I do, it's five o'clock, 5.30 or six. So the question is, how long did it take you to adapt to the old bad lifestyle or intermittent fasting, if you will, where you're only doing one meal a day? Everybody has a different path and that's okay. I do suggest that you start out slow, especially if you're used to eating three meals a day and uh, just take one meal away like every two weeks. You know, take your time. Don't do what I did because, you know, it is extreme and you it might just backfire on you and you might fall back into your old um, habits of eating extra meals or extra snacks throughout the day because you're feeling like you're deprived. You wanna feel satiated when you have your one meal and so it can carry you over to the next day. Uh, again, in my schedule, it's a 22 to 23 hour fast, so. These are the things that I do. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing more about what you do. And please do give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And welcome to the channel. I look forward to seeing you around in the chatting uh, box and leave a comments down there and say hello if you're new to this channel. And I do come out with videos on a weekly basis. I try to get two out a week, but sometimes I have a full-time job, so. <laughs> and I'm taking care of mom uh, full time as a caregiver as well. So um, I'm trying to get everything squeezed into this schedule. And so I appreciate your patience and I definitely will get a video out every week. And remember, caregiving begins with you. Thanks for watching.